Hey everybody and welcome back to my XCOM 2 let's play and now we are gonna see our brand new Reaper who is hopefully not as stupid as our normal one alien allies not interested I'm glad to alone. see our joint effort paid off like we hoped Okay, so we got a new one Reaper. Of my best people was so impressed by your soldiers Great. after that last Don't care. Together. Shut up. They're coming to join up with you. Let's Hope make. You mind. Commander, I've learned that we have new opportunities to strike at the elders. Should oh, we you need, wish to pursue we them. need a major to do the final <clears throat> to do the final mission. Do I not have one? How far am I off? Um He's a captain. This means so he's one off. So our best people are one off. So this means in the next couple of missions we can expect to get a major and to be able to start on this mission. But uh, to start on the final mission of the of Commander, finding the chosen ring facility and is currently idle. We have the soldiers to spare. We should deploy them on a and then immediately the start working on the next chosen. Okay, so what do we want? We want to reduce the avatar project because we have time now and we can't do this one. Is there anything else I want to do? No, I think this is the most pressing at the moment. Uh, we will give you tiny some sort of noob I will I think 25 is worth it I'll order my people to get underway and we should also start working on the other factions maybe we'll get I've never seen a recruitment for any of their people okay so angela smith is our new reaper she is a genius which is fucking amazing i love that i hope she has some good skills as well but we're gonna need to wait for that one okay so what do we want we want shrapnel we don't cut this one we want target definition we also want and I think that I, uh, I don't know, that I could be good or bad. I don't know if it's very useful, but it's really good that she's a genius. That is amazing. I love that. Okay. Uh, and she's also on the same level as our uh, Templar. And right now we're basically just gonna relax and wait for her soldiers to become available again. Avenger plotting because new we currently don't have any useful soldiers at all. If you I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical using you against us yes however the advent data shows signs of decay removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage network yes what we're seeing here is a psionic network these implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information a great deal of information somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy my working theory? Advent uses this network 
to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. So as Commander, I think that's a stupid idea and we shouldn't do it. Game over. Um, yes, so we need a proving ground. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Titan came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Knowing that my past surgical experience is limited, I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common Advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised its most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. So I think we get a thorough analysis. I have battle scanner from this, if any advantage which is, can be useful. Enormous eyes provide, testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. It's basically like a Reaper. Uh, yeah, so it's just a scouting probe. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. And Although get... that bit clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city center, <clears throat> it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. These robotic units, developed by Advent, seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. So it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly. I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. So, since I waited so long to do the autopsy of the, uh, of the, what's he called? General, whatever his name is, or <laughs> whatever they're called, um, I now have a lot of things I can get immediately. Okay. So this only takes one day. I want to do this really quickly because it will probably let us get uh, important stuff. I will and make our highest we priority. really need to build... Um, wait, can I actually build anything at the moment? Do I have someone who's free? Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team okay, before I we can don't. start clearing out some of these other rooms. <clears throat> we should recruit an engineer. Um, we are gonna... Well, this is fine. Um, whatever. Doesn't matter. Not a problem. We should get the proving ground as fast as possible because it'll give us some very, Our very useful upgrades. So if you haven't seen enough of Tygen up until now, you're going to see much more of him. Mm, this is a very important upgrade because it I allows agree. us to that is an important task, Commander. switch the personal combat sims and they don't get destroyed when they Commander, are... We can now construct radio relays in any region where we've made contact with the local resistance. Setting course oh no, for I didn't want to fly United back. States. 
<clears throat> okay, so I want to make contact. Because we for the actually want to get closer to the facility, but we should be pretty close to actually reducing the avatar process progress with um, our covert option action. Local regional contact. This is useful. This is very good. We are going to put a Scilab here because it takes the, I think it needs five, uh, five power and everything else needs much less. I think the rest just needs like two power. I'm very tempted to build this, but nope, we're gonna build this. And we are not able to put any more people on that which is unfortunate but it will take us 11 days and then we can get Psy soldiers which is great um, do we really not have anybody else available um, so we wait this can't be Okay, so we have gremlins available. There's a gremlin used here. Okay, we are gonna put a gremlin in here. Good. This means we have at least... Um, this means we have one available engineer who we will use to excavate the space where we will put our proving grounds. Proj uh, proving grounds. I want to... How many gremlins do we have available? If we have two gremlins available... I want to upgrade. No, I only have one gremlin available. This means I can't actually remove an engineer from here. Still only have four engineers and I can't... Oh, if I buy an upgrade... I can remove him. Empty. Good. This means I can put him in here. Which will reduce our time until we get our proving ground. Hooray. Okay, that was more complicated than it needed to be. And we're gonna get to scanning. Um, we have our infirmary now. Which is probably gonna be staffed by a gremlin. Okay. You can have a gremlin. A gremlin. Great. Let's start on taking off negative traits because those can really mess you up in combat. And everybody recovers you twice as fast. I come for your friends eventually, Commander. He doesn't I actually have any have new, new skin skills. Of your exploits. Now can I? The Chosen are gonna do whatever it takes to get to you, Commander. Even if that means wiping out entire camps of Resistance supporters. We're their only line of defense. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Um... Don't really care about this. This might be interesting, but I'm gonna mainline the Chosen. So we're gonna go for this Chosen dude. Um, we're gonna give you a grenadier and some squaddy. Don't care about them getting injured, doesn't matter. Let's go. We will walk hand hand with our new allies. Great. Okay. Next, we're just gonna continue it is just scanning. As I had hoped, command. This is done. Good. 
Don't need this, don't need that. Priest gives us an upgrade we don't need yet, I think. Purifier, I also think we don't need. Faceless, these are all not very. Really, well, the faceless upgrade is pretty useful, but I don't care, so let's just go for this. You'd make that research a priority <coughs> I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. It will give us an additional mission, which is good. And now we can do some guerrilla ops. Minor breakthrough is annoying, but probably not really that useful. Uh, black market being knocked out will be kind of annoying. So I'll just look at what the hidden thing is. Do I have enough? Yes, I have enough. Um, well, that's kind of annoying. I don't know. Okay, what do we do? Mm, minor breakthrough is annoying, and we would get an engineer. See, letter rounds is kind of annoying. This is pretty annoying. They're all kind of annoying. They're not, nothing is really terrible. I kind of want an additional engineer, but I think this is the worst. And we can Setting use more supplies. For 10, Eastern United States. I'm probably gonna go for Illyrium research uh, soon because it's quite useful. I think this is how we unlock tier 3 everything and we want those as Commander, quickly as possible to stay aware. ahead of the We're game. Lost, lost is good, lost are easy and makes me happy. I'm pretty happy with this group. Except for Shifter, because I hate that guy from the last mission we did where he fucked up everything. But other than that... Should I really take three faction heroes? Oh boy. Um, I guess it's fine. Do we have any exp Expanded magazines, any good ones, not the standard ones. Peter, advanced, advanced auto loader. No, we just have a single expanded magazine. I'm going to put a superior repeater on one of my mag cannons. What is this? This has three reloads. Let's just see what other weapons we have available. They all kind of suck. Um, I actually don't know. Do we have any any scopes at all? Anything useful? It doesn't matter. Um, let's just put our superior repeater here. And it's okay. I will make this weapon red because it will be my new high tier weapon even though it isn't currently that good. I will do the same for our sniper. Um, this one and I will turn it red as well. Actually last Time I realized that red wasn't actually a good color for this because the standard weapon. Uh, okay, let's make a um, blue this time. I guess. No, yellow. Yellow is fine. A yellow can be seen easily. Okay, I will make all of the best weapons yellow because the standard weapon for these guys is red. And if you forget to equip the good kind, then they will you won't be able to see it. And you'll be on a mission with a terrible weapon and it will be quite annoying. Also yellow, it's a different yellow. Which one do I use this one? Good. Okay. So I am really done with micromanagement for this time. We have healing. 
We're fine, let's go. Party time. And we also have the Reaper, and it is a genius, but has much less a lower level, <coughs> which means we're gonna need her to level up as quickly as possible, but also she has a chance to be revealed with every shot she takes, which hopefully she'll get many kills and just level up as quickly as possible, and then we won't have to deal with that problem. So we basically spent 20 minutes micromanaging now. Until we got to the mission. But that's fine. Sometimes you gotta do that. The resistance set up a data tap on the advent network through an access point in this area. And they've been retrieving data critical to the alien's oh, latest operation. Unfortunately, Advent picked up on the signal and are moving to destroy the emplacement. We need to move in <clears throat> and eliminate any hostile forces threatening that device. Is this underground mode isn't? Oh yeah, that's a lost mission, which is fine. I like lost missions. They're easy. Usually. But they could be annoying in this this mission type, the protect device type, they might slow us down and not get us to the... we won't be able to get to the objective or something. We'll see how it goes. that bug resolves itself where I don't see the, the health of the device, but I don't think it will ever resolve itself again. So I, at this point, I, I kind of last, last time I thought it was an increased difficulty thing, but it's not, it's just the incredibly buggy game with blurry zombies in it. Okay. Forces are already moving <coughs> to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. This is my Reaper. Uh, guess I'll move here. Moving out. To avoid standing no right to next to. Okay, so we already have lost visible. Maybe we'll get to find order, um, enemies as well, so they can battle each other, which we did. So that's quite good. We are hidden. Big sleep. What kind of name is that? I don't know if I should start taking out Lost. Guess we don't really have much of a problem with taking out Lost. Or we don't have much of a detriment. Except that we get revealed that I... I don't know. I don't really mind that much getting revealed. So I think we have two black ladies, that one is Chinese and one is Japanese. I don't think I've ever seen a black Chinese person, but that's okay. I don't know, we're fighting aliens here, we don't need to look for perfect. Uh, but it doesn't fucking matter at all. Who gives a fuck? It's dead! It has um, to be dead! It's just kind of funny, I think, even though it really doesn't matter. So, if we move there, if we move all the way up, we will see the enemies, which would be unfortunate. We kind of don't want that, but mm, I kind of wouldn't mind that much. But I think we'll just move in this direction, well, yeah, I'll move in this direction, 
and deal with those guys next to it. Um, same with this dude. The power guides me. <laughs> I love his voice. He's amazing. I gotta make there's one one British voice that is just amazing. I have to make a soldier with that voice. Let go. Remind me of doing that. I hope, or I should remind myself. I guess. Um. Okay. We don't. So <laughs> we're all just gonna sit next to this. Uh. We're all gonna sit next to this this car, I guess. So what would be best is that we reveal ourselves now and then just throw a grenade at the car and kill everybody. Useful, I guess. I don't think they have been activated yet, so. Oh, we have a tiny little trooper shooting at the device. I don't know if it makes any difference. Probably has a set number of turns until you need to worry about it. The target is marked. Okay, so now they're activated. This means they're not gonna go into cover any further than they... So they're standing... Oh, they actually have cover in our direction. Well, at least... They both... No, no one guy has cover in our direction. Oh, they both do. Weird. <clears throat> the... The amount of enemies we have seems kind of lackluster to me, so maybe this is a chosen game. Or maybe it's just that the game overvalues the lost. I don't know. But we didn't have a chosen spawn, so there's no chosen. Which is good. Can you pull one of these dudes towards you? Yes, we can, and we will, because that is very helpful. No, we don't want wrath, we want justice. Justice. It will be done. So we can just... I assumed it would work, and it did, which is great. Um, we can just take care of the... of the specter from the comfort of our home. Um... We are gonna kill it with our Reaper, I think, just to give her kills. No, maybe we shouldn't do that. We'll see. Um, we'll leave it alive for now. Can we... do we have a good shot on... Well, we have a semi-good shot on the thing that is standing directly next to us. Um, Well, this isn't good at all. Um, how do I take care of the Viper, is the question. Why can nobody move? I think because everybody's blocking each other. What can my sniper do? Oh, the other one. She can hopefully just kill it, which would be great. What is with these 80% shots that they suck at taking? Um, if I do a normal attack with him, I lose my turn, which is bad. Okay, so we're still all sitting right next to each other, which is not good form, but I can't move into any cover. Why is everybody... So bad at moving. Okay, so maybe we do need to attack our Viper with our Reaper. Who does she see? She sees this pod and these people. It's it should be fine, I hope. She'll just hit all her shots and nothing will go wrong. Return to your god. 
so if you're paying attention the problem is that I stacked all of my people to the same point where they are sitting right next to each other and also my headset just went off so I'll be back in a second. I did that in order to avoid the to avoid triggering the pot right away, but the problem with that is now they're all useless, which is great. Okay, I'm just gonna start shooting at last. Because there's no way they can miss a 90% chance. Yeah, so far he's been useful. I can shoot at the Viper now. Which is a 60% chance. And he can actually kill it. But of course he misses. Because the they always do. Thing is Vipers aren't really that bad. Um, I really wish he would have killed it. Is the thing. I'm just gonna move here and shoot at the Viper with my heavy and finish it off with my uh, my Reaper, which is something apparently I can never remember. Uh, where's my heavy? Where's my heavy? Here he is. Here he is. Do this. Can one of you incredible idiots please hit that fucking viper man? That is incredible dude. Yes, please kill it. Good job. There no reveals. Do we have ammunition available? Uh but she currently has two kills, which is good for us. I will also kill this one. Which is good as well. Superior scope. I love seeing that. That is real good. Um, I'm still kind of suspicious because there are so few enemies here. Which seems real weird to me. But I guess... We'll see. Beyond vision. Maybe I just like ignoring the last. Funny thing is at we're not really that far into the into the campaign yet, but already I couldn't couldn't do this with pistols now, even though we we're pretty no early on. Ready to because pistols are extremely useless in this game. I guess that'll be okay. Okay. Um five to six, that thing has six life, so we are it's not a good idea to shoot at it with my engage. Reaper. She's probably going to end her turn. Okay. You see that? So I will move you up. Maybe trigger that pot. Probably, probably not. Because we're way too far away. Also move Mox up. Again, I don't think this is close enough. And also there's a... Is that a window? That's a window. Okay, so maybe this is close enough. I go we'll quickly. See wouldn't be ideal but it also wouldn't be the worst thing in order to have a little bit more control over this I will use her to scout as per usual 
should be able to see everybody from here. So this car is only half cover, so you can actually look through it. It doesn't matter where you position your units on this car. Don't want to position it too close to the building, just in no case there's someone spare. standing in there. You cannot that run. would there's send a patrol. That would spot my. Um, okay, so we can't move here. We actually got really lucky with the position of our skirmisher. I actually forgot what I was going to say, but it was probably stupid anyway, so it's fine. I can't move here. I will see the pot. So I will move here and put four people next to the same car again. No one the last driving. one. Oh, I can actually see the I can see the health now. Yay! And we still have lots of time. Okay, so there's the missing part. An alien scouting party. That means that makes everything a little bit more interesting because we now have two pods that are directly next to the objective. This means you can. I think our best bet is for us to just. We, uh, we still have a lot of health on our objective, which means we could just... Well, let's just shoot at them and see what happens. Okay, so I will take my best shot. She actually hit it. Good job. This probably means that we are gonna have the muton shooting okay so we uh, kind of don't want to move at all because if we do we will trigger the other part which can be a problem to us so in order to avoid doing that can we move well, we'll just have to kill every single enemy that we can see right now on this turn without meleeing them. Okay, so you can not see that guy? You can, but you have a terrible shot at him. So if I put her here, shoot and get revealed, we'll also have the second pot on our ass, which is bad too. Okay. So, since we can't move, I would very much like to take out the that guy. Okay. So how do we do this? We have so many melee units. Maybe we should just... Uh, well, we shouldn't really take on that many people at the same time. Okay, I need to move you to a position where you can only see should be in a blind spot here, I think. But she's almost flanked from here, which is also bad. And a 50% chance isn't really. She can see three from here. I'll just assume it's those three guys. Bad sushi, chef. The three guys of that pod. It is. Okay, so I didn't completely fuck us up. And also this is a dude. Okay, so we're at 63% chance, which isn't really that good. I think I can flank that dude by going here. It's the shield bearer. Okay, the shield bearer has armor, which means I would I have the choice shoot at him with my heavy but I don't really have that choice because he has um, because our heavy has a pretty bad shot at him. So from, well if I do his this shot really you have a 70% shot even though it's flanked okay fine well, that was good. You can't handle me. Okay, that was real good. <clears throat> so, you... 
ideally I would uh, we don't want to go here well how far can you throw your grenade again the main thing is now that we really don't want to well I, I think I can just use my this attack to do guaranteed damage and kill him. Why make everything simple when it can be complicated too? Okay, so this dude... I already moved you. How many do I have left? I have you left. Okay, so I think our best bet... Even though it sounds stupid, it is incredibly stupid. But to guarantee him dying is to actually blow up his little half cover which will apparently trigger lost uh, how close are we to spawn are they gonna spawn right now they're gonna spawn next turn okay so Mox has two shots anyways so he has a good chance of killing them <coughs> I will reload your gun, sir. And I will reload I your reload. gun as well. And I will also not move her because I expect that... Oh, okay, they're shooting at both guys now. Wait, he does the same amount of damage as a... As a normal trooper. So the loss should now aggro the aliens actually, which would be great. And we also really no place for you to go now. don't want I to blow up, flanking. well it doesn't matter anymore. I was gonna say we really don't want to blow up the purifier next to the device, but he's not next to the device anymore. And now we really want him to blow up. And we are gonna... Uh, well, we just had a last spawn, so it should... It will be fine. Who can you hit? That one. Oh, that's not really good at all. I'll just shoot at the brute. Even though he's probably Edward. Oh my god, I Get really hate you so much right now. Okay, so since we just had a lost spawn, we can do this pretty without much of a problem. A deadly trap. And again, I like stacking this with. Oh no! I'll just blow these guys up. But you have a forty-one percent hit chance. What? Now I have an 89% hit chance. Oh, it shows me. This is also a bug. Great. Um, so this is a 100% hit chance. Uh, but I think I'll just... Should I just throw a grenade at this? Oh no. Let's not throw any more grenades than we actually need to. And maybe she'll get some kills. Okay, so everybody's out in the open now, pretty much. I can still move you. And okay, so now um, so he cannot melee either of the aliens. Where's a third alien? Oh yes, there's a stun lancer. Could be a problem. Um, I'll move in closer just a little bit because these people like missing the easiest shots of all time. Really, that's a 68% chance. I guess so. Will the purifier hurt this dude? No, the Muton has to go. And... Just... 
tout de suite que je gère. Ok. Je vais bientôt être à sec. Please kill the purifier. I will. I should really not put you anywhere close to that. I'll put you here. If I can still see the dude. Can. Here I, I go. Will put you here. I will shoot at the purifier. Who fires? Okay, so we'll miss another 80% chance. Could use some ammo great, over here. great. I think that's that's just. That's that's just fucking amazing. Okay. Do we have anybody left? We have these two people left. I swear dude. I hate these fucking people so much. They're such They're so annoying sometimes when they miss all their fucking shots. Okay, so he has three ammo. We have a free attack with him, which we should use to take out our purifier. We'll probably strike. blow up. Can we hit him? We can. That's amazing. They Good job. No uh, I'm actually just 50-50 on if I should actually attack this brute, because maybe the stun lancer will just aggro on him, because I don't think we can take out the stun lancer at all. So I will just put these guys on overwatch because I believe that the stun lancer has a pretty good chance of aggroing onto one of the lost and not onto my people. I'll keep a watchful eye. No, it, uh, the stun lancer actually attacked the device, I think, which is fine as well. No, 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 it died. Okay. Oh, I am confused today. Yeah, so that's not very much damage, friend. You can never escape my sight. I don't believe we have any other aliens left, so we just need to take out these last and then we're done with the mission. So let's do that. 100%. That. And he's even better now. How much damage do you do? You can pretty much guarantee to kill this one. You missed your 90% chance. That's why not. Good job. I reload his gun, his turn's over, so I guess I'm better off meleeing one of these dudes. How much damage does it do? Four. Uh, yeah, let's just do one of them with high HP. Now we are going to use our uh, our Reaper to kill as many as we can in order to level them up possibly. Your friend will Great. join you soon. You must keep me resupplied. Because as soon as she levels up, hey, really? My ammo has run dry. I must reload. Good. As soon as she levels up, she's much more useful. Oh, that was fun. Oh, we got lucky because she does what? five to six damage, and that thing had six health. We are known to them. Oh, we don't actually go over eighty percent. But this one has five health. No this means we're able to get all of the loss with our Reaper and hopefully get Tell your I'm coming. I oh, really? Hope There's no still more ammo. left somewhere. Uh, don't know where though. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, interesting. We're probably here in this hallway, I would imagine. Shifter. You can't see shit. I'll move her up. Stepping off. So I really hope the they're not in one of these buildings because that would be quite annoying. I'll move him up. But I think next turn we probably have a spawn of loss anyways. Which will cost us an additional turn because I used so many explosives. Or maybe we have one more left. We'll see. One more round left, I mean. Please don't set yourself on fire. So I'm pretty sure we don't have any more aliens left, so I'll just put you here. The game is doing something. Uh, so maybe the last are here in this corner. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. So I hope these are the final last. Again, we'll use our Reaper to kill as many as we can. Then we can see them. Reaper, Reaper, where are you, Reaper? Can't see shit, but you do have full ammo, so that's fine. I will go. The time for hiding is over. It is, it is. So 5 to 6 damage, this means... This one... Volk says hello. Then this one... The only then. thing possible for Avery. Can she do no it? She can! Very no nice. And the I mission isn't over. Hunt. This means there is more. More lost. If you run in here, can you actually get them out? Because if we don't take care of them this turn, we're gonna have a lost spawn, I think. So my idea behind this done. is I'll move him in. Oh, he didn't see any lost. That is dumb. Okay, so we actually go. don't know where they are. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll find them. I won't spend an entire mission here. just running around searching for the it. final last spawn. It was quite annoying. Uh, I still believe they're back there in that hallway, or behind that hallway. So I think. Give me a minute. Gone. And well at this point we shouldn't lure them out if they're back there. So I'll just put you in the wall. Oh, we haven't we don't have the last one. Can we do it? We can. Great job. Is that the last one? It isn't. I don't think. Holy fuck, is that like a clown car? How many people how many lost are back in that hallway? Oh there's one. No friend. Did you get lost? Right. Not that we did it. All hostels are down and the area is secure. Yay. Nobody got injured, everybody's tired probably, but that's fine. Yep. I don't remember what we get from this thing. From this mission. We'll see. 
The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. That's fake news, dude. So hopefully uh, our Reaper leveled up, that would be perfect, but I don't think she did, which is unfortunate, but I guess it's fine. Expected something of a learning curve for our new recruits, but they've done a remarkable so job. He level up, which is great. Reflect is nice. I will take deflect. I think. Don't know if there's anything else I want. This can could be useful, I guess. I've never used it before. Uh, I'll just take pillar, I guess. I don't really know. Can I actually? I don't know if I can check how far people are to leveling up. Oh yeah, we got a superior scope, that's right. It's amazing. Another impressive effort, Commander. Oh My yeah, the expectations countered. were high, and uh, yet you have exceeded them. The black market being unavailable. And we got some supplies, which is also fantastic. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please give me a like and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.